Hello and welcome to another Budget and Leggett video. All this fucking work just to replace a stupid indicator bulb on a stupid Renault. Pathetic. I know you can go in through here, but this was completely seized in the house and it just couldn't do anything with it. So I had to take off the front cross member, light, bumper, everything just to get to it. The NCT's tomorrow. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. This is what people don't realize. In a couple of my videos, oh, you've, you haven't repaired that, you've bodged it. Sometimes you have to. The customer's come to me, this indicator isn't working. Her NCT's tomorrow. I can't go a couple of hours down the road to try and go to a scrapyard and stuff because I have to close up, it costs too much money. It's just hassle. And as you can see, go this side, that's the connection that side, but look what's happened this side, it's burnt. So what I'm gonna do, just to get her through the test, we're gonna use the old Hobby Tools uh, soldering iron. It's gonna be interesting to see this working outside, it's quite windy today, so we're gonna be, it's gonna be a good test for it. And uh, yeah, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, people. So don't give me grief, this is what you have to do sometimes. Most people don't show this because they get too much grief and they're afraid. I show everything. It's not a permanent fix, but it's a good enough fix to get her through the test. Alright, what my plan is, is just to bridge that with solder. I don't know how I'm going to hold the phone and do this at the same time. Um, can I wedge the phone somewhere? Will that work? I put a big bar across my phone to hold my phone. Ah, this is going to be really awkward soldering because I've only got about an inch or maybe three inches between my phone and the soldering iron. But hopefully you can get the idea. I hope that you uh, appreciate the hassle I go through. <laughs> right, just pressing the button on this and instantly it's uh, going. Hold on, let me get this the other way around. And hopefully, we can just bridge this. I'm impressed that this is working outside. You know, it's quite breezy and it's instantly working, which is really good. Please bridge. I maybe need to clean it a bit more. Oh no, we got it. We did. We're getting there, hopefully you can see this. It looks a bit messy, but maybe just use a bit of flux. There we go. One more, I'd say, just to fill in the gap. We'll have to get a new, uh, we're just gonna fill in that gap. Right, you're gonna get the idea. This is awkward with the foam being in the way, but you can see the soldering iron works outside. There we go, that's bridged the gap. The solder's actually gone down there, which is gonna make that a lot stronger. So let me just quickly finish off that and then put it in and see what happens. Right, there we go. It's done. So what I'm going to do is try and put this in and turn it and see what happens. Will it go in? Have I maybe put too much solder on it? We'll have to wait and see. I don't think it's in properly. It's so awkward. Um, two logs at the top, one at the bottom, that way. Try and do this in one shot so I don't get accused of uh, cheating. I'm not going to be able to, I can't, this is the problem, you can't twist this, so I couldn't do it inside. Let me fiddle around with this and see what happens. I think I've maybe put a bit too much solder on it, it won't clamp the thing down, but we'll see. All right, people, I managed to get it in and it wasn't working. You really have to push this thing hard and use a set of pliers. That's why I couldn't get to it with my hand. I've just got my test lead out, trying to, because it wouldn't work, figure out, is the power going to it? And look, I didn't put the fucking connection in. What a tit. What a tit. So I'm going to put the connection in and this should work. It is just off camera. I cleaned up my solder connection. As you can see that it's nice and shiny now. Sticking out. Hopefully it's sticking out enough and it's going to make contact. Boom! There we go. It worked. 
good old soldering iron. Now I am, or I have, I don't know if I have or I am, no, I am going to do it on this. Um, yeah, it's it's awesome. And as you can see now, you know, it's not turned on, it's not wasting gas or anything. Just press the button and it works and it works outside with the draft. So there you go. But like I said, look, sometimes that, you, I'm never going to be able to get it out by hand. You have to, it's just, this is the problem. Hold on, the camera focus. Look, it's just going to break. Ugh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, that's it people oh i thought it actually flickered then i was thinking shit but there we go um i know it's flickering by the way uh, <laughs> so there we go look you just have to do what you have to do sometimes is this a permanent fix no as long as it doesn't really move it, it could last forever you know but you have to do what you have to do sometimes it's not just a case of me nipping next door and getting another ball holder i have to go to a scrap yard and it just takes too much time and it's just too much hassle especially when she needs this car tomorrow in a couple of hours essentially so you have to do what you have to do sometimes right so what i want you to comment down below is do you think i've done it proper do you think i shouldn't have done what i did do you think it's okay let me know in the description box below you can say anything you want because i really don't care um but just interesting to see what people think on it sorted see what people don't understand is in ireland you can't go to a car garage to get an nct you have to go to a special place and all they do is ncts which means you have to book time off work if your car fails you have to then book the car in to a garage get the car repaired then book another day off work and drive your car down to the local test center so it's not just as easy as going to a garage getting a test then ringing you up and saying it's failed on this blah 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 that's why in ireland this is why we have to do what we have to do because potentially the customer has to take two days off work and get a retest and do all that just to get the car passed so again say whatever you want in the comments but just think before you try and be clever and actually know the full story before you actually comment because if you do comment don't worry i will make a reply so look that helps just a very quick tnt um what you can do if you have to and there we go so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted